day 2D and welcome to your next lesson. Our topic of today is equations of lines and our goal, hopefully by the end of this lesson, you can say, I can recognize and graph horizontal and vertical lines from their equations. Now, this lesson is probably going to be the easiest one you do all year, but it's also one where people make mistakes. Uh, we're going to take a look at the equations of horizontal and vertical lines, and we're going to try to find the equation of this line right here using y equals mx plus b. So if we have a look at it, uh, using y equals mx plus b, find the equation of the horizontal line. Well, a horizontal line has no slope because there's no rise and there's a bunch of run. In fact, there's an infinite run. So if I want rise over run, I get zero. Okay, There's no slope. A horizontal line has a slope of zero. So m equals zero. B, the y-intercept, that one's easy. I can answer that. It's 2. So B is 2. Now if we want to sub into y equals mx plus B, I say y equals 0x plus 2, or it simply becomes y equals 2. Now an easier way to look at it is that all the y values on this line are 2. It doesn't matter where it is. Here, 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 in the middle doesn't matter what your x value is. All of the y's are 2. So if all of the y's are 2, why don't we just name the line that way? Because it doesn't matter what x is. So we just call our line, all of the y's are 2. Basically just like that. So we're going to take a look at the same way at a vertical line, trying to use y equals mx plus b here. Well, a vertical line you can't really find the slope of that. It, it's infinitely steep. It is hugely steep. You cannot get any steeper than a vertical line. So the slope of a vertical line is infinite. And the y-intercept, well, it's vertical. It's parallel to the y-axis. It's never going to cross the y-axis. So there isn't one. So now if we try to use y equals mx plus b, what we have is y equals infinite x plus there isn't one, which is not particularly useful because that would actually apply to every single vertical line. And I just, um, I'm just concerned about this one. So the other method is better. The same ways we did up above where we found that y equaled 2, well, now... On a vertical line, it's the x's that are all the same. And this x here is negative 3, and so is this one, and this one, and this one's the most obvious negative 3, because it crosses the x-axis at negative 3. And so it's much, much easier to say x equals negative 3. Now, if I want that in standard form, remember standard form has everything on one side, 0 on the other, then it goes x, y, constant term equals 0. Uh, there's no y term, but I can just rearrange this and say that x plus 3 equals 0 is my equation in standard form. So what kind of questions might I ask you about equations of horizontal and vertical lines? Okay, example number 1. Find the horizontal line that goes through 2, 3, 2, negative 3. Okay, so we've got an axis, and our point is 2, negative 3, so it's down here. And I want a horizontal line that goes through the point 2, negative 3. So there's our horizontal line. And I know my y is negative 3, so all of the y's on there must be negative 3. So I'm going to say that it is y equals negative 3. Or I could have known that it was a horizontal line. And on a horizontal line, all the y's are the same. So I could have just picked it right out of there without worrying too much about it. Now, once again, if I want it in standard form, I have to add 3 to both sides. And I say y plus 3 equals 0. And now it's actually in standard form. So let's say I learned my lesson from the first one. I'm not going to bother sketching it. I'm not going to bother overthinking it. I know it's a vertical line. And on a vertical line, if I think of a vertical line, a vertical line has all the x values the same. So if a vertical line has all the x values the same, a vertical line that goes through this point 
all the x values are going to be 5. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to write x equals 5. And if I want it in standard form, I subtract 5 from both sides, and I get x minus 5 equals 0. Ooh, next one looks a little more complicated. It says, find the equation of a line that goes through negative 2, 5, and 6, 5. So don't I need to find the slope for that? I need to find the slope um, using um, slope and a, or using my two points because I know that equation, y, m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. But wait a second. These have the same y values. And if they have the same y values, they must be a horizontal line. And I'm wasting my time because this is just y equals 5. And if I want it in standard form, it's y minus 5 equals 0. So if you can spot that we have a repeat, if we have the same x values or the same y values, you know you're having a horizontal or a vertical line. So the next one... It says, find the equation of the horizontal line and the vertical line that go through negative 4, 2, and graph them. Well, I've already got the graphs on here. Here's my negative 4, 2. So I put the point on, and I draw the vertical line that goes through it, and I draw the horizontal line that goes through it. So I've got the vertical line in red and the horizontal line in green. And they're on there. So what's the equation of them? Well, the uh, vertical line is x equals negative 4 is for the vertical. And the horizontal line is y equals 2. And that's all there is to it. Lastly, now I've got a few of them here. It says graph the following lines. Well, A says x equals negative 2. Well, I don't know anything about y, but I do know x is negative 2. So that could be here or here or here or here or any other place x equals negative 2. Uh, so that is the vertical line, x equals negative 2. So I'm going to draw that line on here. All right like that. The next one says y minus 5 equals 0. This takes a little bit of rearranging. That must mean that y equals positive 5. And so all of my y's are positive 5. So this is the easiest y equals 5 to get. And now I'm just going to plot my graph for y equals 5 right there. The next one, again, it takes a little bit of rearranging. Uh, I add 2 to both sides so that x equals positive 2. If x equals positive 2, then that's going to be this line right there. All of my x's are positive 2. And lastly, y equals 7. I just need to find 7. Let's make this one purple. And I need to go to where y's are 7. And that would be right here. And just draw my line on for y equals 7. And that's all there is to it, ladies and gentlemen. Those are equations of horizontal and graphs of horizontal and vertical lines.